Hello everybody and welcome to the demo for Research Story. Now this is a game that's been out in early access for about a year but they have released a demo for us to play and have a little look at uh, how the game's coming along and you know you can then make a decision on whether you'd like to play more of it. So I'm going to jump in, make a new save. Now the reason this is different is you do a lot of research, you do your normal farming you have to forage your own seeds and you have to make friends with the animals before you can have them as your animals on your farm and things like that. So uh, I'll be interested to see what that, what difference that makes to the gameplay. Uh, so anyway, the Violet Archive is seeking an inquisitive individual to help with the research of plants and creatures that have been appearing around Shimmerbrook. We've received word that you might be interested in such a role. If so, please accept this invitation by following the instructions as attached. Lodging will be provided. With regards, Valley Asherian. Head Archivist of the Violet Archive. Okay. Click to accept. So I will obviously be Shelab. And I will have... That's the closest I can get to purple hair. I can have pink hair though. Maybe we could go with pink hair and space buns. That's, that's very me, isn't it? And there's more. I can have... Pigtails. I can't turn around, so I don't know what that looks like. Yeah, I'm gonna go with my pink space buns, I think. I think pink is way better than like that sort of blacky grey, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so uh, I will be pink she lab this time instead of purple she lab because, you know, purple isn't there. And I will be a researcher with pink hair. Yeah. Greetings, Shelab. Wow, you have an in. Wow, I love your makeup. That's amazing. I'm Valley, head archivist of the Violet Archive, and your mentor for research. Happy to have you on board from today onwards. First off, welcome to your new home. Well, not that new, technically. It does come furnished, though. There should be some farmer's tools from the previous occupant lying around somewhere. You can start by finding them. Let me know once you've gotten some tools. Quest recorded, press Q for your quest log. Q for quest? That's just way too... Way too easy. <laughs> it's usually I or something that's like halfway across the keyboard. Alright, let's go find these farmer's tools then. And you can also get your quest up there. Let's see, can I get in my house? Uh, might there be some tools in here? Maybe in a chest or something? Or against the wall here, look. There we are. I got the old farmer's tools. I can equip them from the toolbox. The toolbox icon is to the right of the hotbar. Okay. Hold left click on the soil to till. Watering is left click. Left click to chop a tree. Left click to clear debris and clear rocks. Lovely. So this is like you can... Equip from here. So it doesn't fill up your whole toolbar, which I actually do always appreciate when they do something like that. They have a, like a separate tool section. It's always very nice when they let me have that. You found them? Great. Let's see. Here's one more thing you'd need. A research journal. Yes, we need a research journal for, for being a researcher. You obtained a research journal. Press J to open it. Of course. J for the journal. Or you just click on the journal. Nothing recorded yet. So the journal is more about me recording things than it is about it giving me quests. This is my quests. This is me recording things. Right. So you'll be able to record your observations of plants and creatures in that journal. The best way to learn is to do it. Here, I've written down some steps for plant research. It includes observing a plant and then successfully growing one. As for creatures, it'll involve taming and raising them. Luckily, Rhea, the village druid, has agreed to help out in that regard. She lives in the plains, so do check with her to get started. Also, drop by the archive at the south side of town when you have some time. I'd like you to meet the rest of the researchers as well. Go forth, researcher. I'll be at the archive if you need anything. So we'll go there a bit later. I think what I need to do to start with is to get going on uh, the basics of research. Find a plant sample by foraging. All right. Let's, I guess we look around here somewhere. So, 
Can I forage you? I can't even move around here. I'm get well, maybe this is my farm, so maybe that's not the best place to forage. You can check both new and old letters from your mailbox. Town folk are more likely to send mail if you have a good relationship with them. Weather there, we've got gold there. Um, it doesn't look like I've got a relationship thinger yet. Main quest, side quest. Oh, I like that it has a clock on timed quests. That's super useful for me. I'm gonna go up here. I don't know where here is. Oh, that looks like it's a, a place I could forage a thing. Okay. I have foraged some chamomile. I found a research sample. As a researcher, you'll come across plants and creatures that can be further observed. By observing, you'll learn how to grow or name them. To start, press E with your inventory, drop a sample onto the magnifying glass, and start with re sorry, you start with three research slots. Okay, so. I have to remember that because there is no way to click up ah, there is there it is there's, there's my bag okay fantastic and then you put that on the researching slot slots available two or three so let's see if we can find something else to research hello chicken can i pet you oh i've got your feather let's research your feather shall we during research hold left click on a plant or creature to start observing Hold right click to bring up its journal entry. Oh, okay. Research can be paused at any time from the research tab. Progress is saved, but you can require a new sample to continue research. Okay. So we're researching chamomile at the moment. Do I get that if I click on there? No. Research. Oh, there we are. Profile. Map. I do not have a map. And there's my friendships in my bag. Okay. Cool. So I need to research that feather, I think. And then there's some apples up here or something on this bush. Amber berries. Shall we research amber berries? That's not a research item. That is a food item, probably. All right, then. That's pretty good. I learned how to forage chamomile seeds. Records are updated. Nice. I foraged the seeds. Seeds can be sown on your farmer's crops. <clears throat> Plant uh, seeds on tilled soils. Some crops only grow under certain conditions. Tea is needed here. Right. So I've got some chamomile crops. I can also apparently observe this chicken. So you observed the chicken. Records are updated. Cool. Let's have a look at my journal now. So I've got chamomile here. A small flower with a sweet herbal smell. Dropped items, not sure. Growing conditions. Spring and summer. Grows away from water sources. Oh, so you've got to be a little bit more, like, careful with it then. I'm in spring at the moment, so that should grow just on my farm as long as it's not, like, right by a, a lake or something. Fantastic. And then animals. We've got a chicken, drops a feather, cliffside, woods, or plains, and we don't know any of their traits yet. But I am researching uh, a feather to try and see what I can see about the... Right, okay, so let's keep going because we have... A third research slot that I'm not using right now. What are you? You're amazing. That's what you are. A leafy furball? I, I need to know what that is. Can we research that? We can! Researching sprout chicken chicken. Sorry, sprout kitten chicken. I need to observe it one time though. Let's see if I can observe you. 
Can I observe you? Yeah. I observed a sprout kitten. Records are updated. There's also this thing here. I can forage, but I need to wait until some research is done. I need to be able to properly research that and grow it in my farm. This is super fun, actually. Hello, sprout kitten. This creature seems wary of you. Perhaps it would be more trusting if you had more f some food. Ah. Oh. Press tab to hold item. Oh. Where did the kitten go? Hey kitten. Hey kitten, do you want do you want this? Oh, maybe you need better food. Okay. Oh look, here's some mushrooms. I should see if I can forage those. Let's put those away. Maybe I could grow the mushrooms too. Grow, 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 grow everything. Grow, grow, grow. So. Berries and mushrooms. Gorgeous little game, this. I'm gonna go back. Uh, I wanna check in my inventory. See how, how research is going. It doesn't really give me like a timer on it though. Maybe we should go and find some other people. And plant some chamomile seeds. Right, so I don't think on my farm here. Sorry, my farm is actually down here. I think I can plant things on this farm. So there is a water source like right in the middle of the farm. So I might be better off like planting my chamomile right down, right in the middle maybe. So maybe if we chop down a couple of trees, I don't know how far away we need to be, but chop down a couple of trees here, make a better room. Looks to me like an axe. Oh, there we are. Cherry blossom and a chestnut sapling. I probably should research those too. I don't have any research slots though. It looks like there's a mail in. There's a a thing in the mail so let's uh, just have a look at that quickly if you'd like to sell any goods you can do it outside your home using our handy shipping box place the goods in there and we'll buy it at 6am please note once sold we're unable to do returns okay feels like I need to get rid of some weeds here and then also get rid of that rock if I can Hammer for rock. Okay, so now I can walk onto. Apart from there's maybe is there a rock there? I don't know what that is. So I guess I'll have to chop trees down around it to work it out. But I think I should now have room to hoe some spots here. I'm fatigued. Oh no. Press tab and spacebar to consume. Okay. Let's uh, use some of my amber berries. So tab, spacebar. Tab, spacebar. And then I've got these guys that I can plant, I think. Oh. Do I need to tab hold them and then plant them? I do. Okay, cool. I'll probably get more. Well, maybe we could head down into the town and check out the research center and things. So this is the town. 
There is a tavern. You have entered an establishment. Some establishments, such as shops, have counters. You can talk to the town so go over the counter or behind the counter for different interactions. What about the mugs and darts? What would you like today? Bread, potato stew or beer? Potato stew costs me 80 gold. I have 10 gold. Bread costs me 40 gold and beer will cost me 40 gold. Okay, thank you. Come again. Uh, we should talk to people though. Greetings, you're the one who just moved here, right? Name's Theo. Everyone has beautiful makeup. I really like the uh, the drawings in this. Hello, oh, Sheila, right? You can call me Lisa. So we found Lisa and Theo. So if I look in my... Some creatures only come out at night while others during the day. Know when to find them. Ooh. Let's find the nocturnal creatures. Oh, there's a quest board as well. There are some notices on the board. The art of making. Ever wondered how to build your own fences? Well, wonder no more. We asked our resident woodworker, Theo, on his process, and this is what he shared. Of course, we believe any high-quality furniture should be sourced from a woodworker like Theo himself. Okay. Learn how to craft a wood fence. Wow, I need to look at that then, don't I? Right, let's grab these berries because they are very useful to have if I run out of stamina. Let's see how my research is going. Oh, I see. We have to grow and harvest. Oh, right. So it might be better to look for night creatures later because at the moment I've got my research full. I need to grow and harvest a chamomile, which we are working on, but I haven't watered them, I don't think. So we need to water them. There we go. So I need to find some kind of food that the sprout kitten might like. And the same with the chicken. Maybe the chicken would be easier. I don't know whether I'll find it late at night though. Let's just check and see if it's still around. It might have gone to bed. There's a fox. I found some fox fur. Cool. So uh, I will observe that and stuff later, I guess. I don't know whose house this is. It's someone's house. Who are you? Hello, what are you looking for today? Are you the druid? A seed bowl to tame creatures, a veggie bowl, an egg bowl, a meat bowl. Oh. But to do that, I'm going to need... Okay. And we've got crafting recipes for them, but I need to make a bit of money for that first. Thank you and come again. What's this? The tree glows with magic. It continues to grow and sprout new leaves without the need for soil. Wow. So I should definitely sell a few bits and pieces today to try and get the money for taming, I guess. But I'll work on these next, the wild violets, once I've grown the chamomile. I don't know how long chamomile takes to grow. We don't know how many days to grow, so I'm just going to have to work on it, I guess. Okay, let's go to bed, I think. I can't really do much more with these uh, foraging slots or research slots, sorry, all taken up. Other than try and find more chamomile, I guess. I could do that. Because if I can find more chamomile, I can actually really start growing things. Oh, so many foxes out at night. so many of them. Hello. You're so cute. I'm looking for chamomile right now, but I'm not finding much. Oh, well, there's some. But I need the seeds. Whatever that is, I'll pick one of them up. Peppermint. And then if I can get more, I can get peppermint seeds. So I feel like probably like getting 
the the first parts of research done on things so that I can grow is probably a better idea than trying to get animals um, for now. So I'm actually thinking I might drop because all I've done so far is I've researched a chicken feather and I've observed a sprout kitten. So I'm thinking... That's fine. Let's open those slots out and let's um, actually instead... I think it might be way more useful to me in terms of progress to research the peppermint and the wild violet. Okay. I need to observe it two times and then grow. Oh. Well, I can definitely observe the peppermint sample. Because I saw that down here. But I've picked too many of the violets, unfortunately. I'll wait for them to grow back. But I am learning, you see. I am learning not to touch necessarily everything. You need to observe it in its wild state. I can then... Forage it after, after that. So it might... That might pop up tomorrow, maybe. Oh, it's gotten really late. Let's go back home. And get to bed. Wow, that was an awesome time I had. <laughs> Just running around the place. Um, where's my house? I'm lost. I think it's down here somewhere. Uh, confused. Oh no, this is like town again. Oh no. This is a terrible thing to be... Like, I'm going to pass out at this rate. I don't know where my house is. I think it's like over here somewhere. Let's get to bed quick. <laughs> okay, here we go. Time for bed. Time for bed. Go to sleep for the night, yes. It is 6am. Phew, I've got four hours of sleep. Woohoo. Okay, so this is day two. We've got seven days. But that took me 22 minutes, so we'll probably try and play uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4 or 5 days worth. I was working on some furniture blueprints and thought this might be useful for you. Happy crafting, Theo, included in the mail. A chest recipe? Oh yeah, that will be really useful. Okay. How's the chamomile doing? It's grown a little bit. So we'll give that a water. It seems to be okay as long as it's not like right by the water source. I've never had a game like that's given me conditions like that. It's amazing. It reminds me a lot more of things like Horticular. Where you've got lots of conditions for things. Right, let's go and see if we can find and observe. Right, there's more chamomile up here which I can get seeds for. At the moment, I'm on the stage where I need to grow the chamomile. Um, and obviously things like sprout kittens, I think I'll observe those later when I can maybe try and see if I can tame them with like meat. And let's see if any of the violets have regrown and I can maybe try and find those. Yes, there's one, look, so we can observe that. And I can observe the one down here. I learnt how to forage wild violet seeds. Records are updated, so now we can get the seed from it. Lovely. And then I need to do one more peppermint, and then we need to grow both of those. So let's see if the peppermint has like respawned down. I think it was down here somewhere. No. <clears throat> so peppermint might be a bit harder. We'll find. There's plenty of chamomile, so I clearly should be like grabbing it and planting its seeds. Who are you? Hello. 
chopping down stuff. Oh, it's Theo. Oh, hey, Sheila, but you're gathering wood as well. Here's a tip. Only the coniferous trees in the wood to the north produce resin, which has a variety of uses. It's one of nature's gifts, really. Thanks. Good tip. But I need to go and find peppermint. I don't know if I'm in the wrong place for it, possibly, as well. So, well, let's just have a good look around. All right, so that's my farm there. But we do now have uh, wild violet seeds, I think. We do. So let's have a look in my book and just see. Um, growing conditions, spring and summer, and it grows in the woods. So this is pretty woodly, isn't it? But we could definitely also grow quite a lot more of the chamomile, so... Let's get to it. I've got 11 chamomile seeds. But I need money. I need money really badly. So definitely need to get on and grow more chamomile. I need to sell the chamomile I have as well. I'm gonna need to clear a bit more space before I can do anything more, so get my axe out. And I'm gonna sell all the chamomile that I already have because we're gonna grow some more. And I'm gonna sell all of the wild violet that I already have. I'm gonna keep the fox fur and all of the saplings. And uh, I don't know how to craft things. Is there a crafting menu or something? There we are. And I can make a chest now, apparently. Wood fence. Wood bowl, torch, chest. Ah, do I have to use the recipe? Click to learn. There we are. Crafting. Chest. 25 wood. Do I not have 25 wood? I have 12. Okay. So what we need to do next is uh, clear just a little bit of space. And I'll uh, put in another... Another little bed that will be full of wild violets. Hopefully that having trees somewhere nearby is enough to count as woodland. Because I do need the space for the actual bed. Come on, let me cut you down, please. All done. We've got 23... 24. Uh, this one down here, maybe. Is that a, a log? There's something there that's like right in my way, and I don't know what it is. It is a log. There we are. So that's enough to make me a chest, which I could put sort of maybe, maybe next to my cell box or something. craft it then. I have enough wood. Uh, do I put those in there? Aha, there we are. One chest. Lovely. Put that back in there. And I very much expect I need to then put that down like that. Yeah. Everything is tab place. So if I want to put things into my chest... could put my fox fur in there and my saplings. I'm waiting just to research those. I have sticks, seeds, 
Uh, peppermint and mushrooms. I think the peppermint should get sold. Now we'll work on the peppermint, uh, and then we need to just increase the size of this plot. I don't know whether I should just make one giant plot or make several cute small ones. Generally, I am in favour of cute small ones. take a lot of energy to make these pots so I'm just gonna make as much as I have room for basically so we've got violets and chamomile growing that's not too bad considering people are saying oh, it's really hard to like make money and things but I think you need to I think you need to not be get like all worried about oh I need to research the sprout kitten straight away and stuff it's probably just really a case of you need to chill out and research the plants first <laughs> but you need money for their taming I guess I didn't know that but as soon as I did realize that I was like yeah this is gonna be probably harder let's just see what we what else we can find so we found three different plants which is great And we'll just wait for those to grow. And once they've grown, that'll be great. It's getting dark again now. Do I really? Wow, I need a better watering can. Gee, that's, that barely does anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, so I'm supposed to be talking to Rhea about taming creatures. She lives in the plains. I thought I had found Rhea in the plains. Maybe I talked to her shop and not to her. This is definitely, definitely the house. All right, let's just chat to you properly. There we are. Hi, you're new here. I'm Rhea. My name is Shelab. Ah, you must be the creature researcher then. Nice to meet you, Shelab. So, you must have heard, recently more creatures have been showing up around Shimmerbrook. Some are native, while others have never been seen around these parts. Due to this change, us druids have decided to support the research effects of the archive. We wish to learn more about these creatures, while keeping a balance in the region, so what's my role? Well, you'll need to record the characteristics and behaviours of various creatures. You can begin research using a creature sample. Samples come in many forms, from drop feathers to shedded furs. You'll then need to observe, tame and raise creatures while recording what you've learned. Following so far? Yeah, excited to get taming. That's great. I'm excited for you to start as well. When taming creatures, we can gain their trust by feeding them what they like. I have some feed here that will help you get started. Place one near a creature and if it likes it, you can take the chance to tame it. Come to me again when you've managed to tame one. I'll share more about raising them then. Okay, you obtained three seed bowls. So that'll be for the chickens. Um, so, you obtained a feed. Creatures can be tamed using feed. Place a feed near a creature, then hold left click while it's eating to tame it. Different creatures have different diets. Done. Okay, we'll do that as soon as chamomile. I think chamomile is going to be very close to being done soon. So as soon as that's done, we'll tame a chicken. But foxes, they're going to probably take meat bowls and probably sprout kittens will too. I'm not sure though. Yeah, we might have to experiment a bit to find what they like. Okay, I'm going to have a look around here and just see if I can find any more peppermint. If any of any has grown. Because that's here is where we found it last time. But sadly, I picked too much, I think. Might take a couple of days to respawn. That's okay, though. I'll continue to pick chamomile and violets and grow them and sell the proceeds. 
once they're grown, I guess we can do that. So I think we're going to wait for the plants to respawn in the morning. I'll just make sure everything is watered. I think it is, yeah. I think we did a good job there. So let's pop in and see whether the chamomile grows in the morning or what. Sleep for the night. We only have seven days though, so there's some gold for us. We got 127 gold for the things that we shipped. So now I can afford to buy maybe a meat thing for them. That's looking a lot bigger and brighter. So we'll water everything. And I'll go and see if I can make any more headway with peppermint and maybe get some peppermint seeds. weed there that I want to try and get rid of. I need to make sure I don't hit my crops with my scythe though. I always do this. I always have like one one left over. Ah. So need a bigger watering can. So, so today I will go and check for the chamomile and the violets and the peppermint and all of that stuff but I want to go into town. Grab these off the trees. We'll check the notice boards. There's some notice. Uh, amber berry season. It's amber berry season. If you see those shiny red berries around, forage them before the season ends. They make a great snack. Cool. The art of making. Ever wonder how to build your own fences? You already know how to craft wooden fences. And that's it. Leave. Who are you? Hi, you must be Shelab. Welcome to Shimmerbrook. I'm Kip and I'm a messenger around here. It's nice to finally meet you. Kip is cool. I like Kip. So what's this place? This is the tavern. Okay. What's this place? The general store. This looks more like somewhere where I could research. See if I can go in here. Hi. Ah, oh, you're here just at the right time. If you haven't met the others, do you go and say hi. Who are you? Hey there, I'm Zoe. Zoe? Uh, it's Sue. I'm fine either way though, Sue. I record for topics related to rocks and minerals for the archive. Maybe we'll get to find some caves in the mountains too. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Sue, okay. Um, are you like the only one? No, there's one more person here. Hello, I'm Era. My name is... It's nice to meet you, Shelab, or Era maybe. I'm a cartographer and librarian in the, li the archive, and sometimes I help Valley with other tasks as well. Speaking of which, I recently made a few copies of the local map. I think it might be useful to you. And I have a map! Yay! Press M to open it. Perfect. That is a map of town. Oh yeah, and there's the... Druid place, there's that place, and there's that place. And that's how big it is at the moment, so... That's very cool. Right, very happy about that. Let's go and have a chat to you again. I see you've met the rest of them. This is your official welcome to the Violet Archive. I hope you can learn well from it, one another. Once again, we're happy to have you on board. Feel free to enter and leave the building when we're open. I'm still arranging some of the shelves, but yours should be ready soon. Well, I'll conclude our introductions for now. Thank you for joining us. Valley concludes the meeting. Let's see what some of these are for, if I can. An empty shelf. This shelf is labelled Mycology, so that'll be for mushrooms then. Magic studies. Magic history. Social history. 
gods and religion. Wow, there's going to be a lot of stuff in here. Uh, astronomy and astrology currently empty. The shelf is labelled geology. It's currently empty. The shelf is labelled rocks, metals and gemstones. Currently empty. That is very cool. Okay, so now I'm going to go out. Uh, my quests. Uh, I need to lure a... Bowl, grow and harvest a crop during research. Okay, we're working on all of those at the moment. As soon as I've grown the crop, I can tame the creature. What are you? I don't think I don't think I didn't see you. All right, so let's go this way and see if any more peppermint has grown yet. It might just be that I'm not going to be able to do peppermint. Problem is, I'm not going to. I'm not seeing that much of it, and I'm not going to be able to. What is that? Cloudberry. That's well cool. I wonder if that's something I can grow. Mm, there's loads of these growing today. Right. Let's get in my backpack and see if that's something I can research. No available slots. So yes, it is something I can research. Darn it. I'm just not finding any peppermint right now. Maybe I'll just take that away then. Until I can find some more. And maybe we'll just observe the cloudberries today. Instead. So observe two times. Yeah, because I can totally observe it two times because there's two here, see? I learned how to forage cloudberry seeds. Records are updated. So now when I get them, the seeds come out. Lovely. There's cloudberries everywhere. to make a whole new plot for them and grow them. Everywhere. My goodness, I'm glad that I did decide to... Uh, Research those ones today. I know that that means peppermint's behind, but if I see it growing again, I'll try and be a bit more careful about what I pull up and what I don't. That was something that was clearly an issue. Uh, <laughs> I just know that I wasn't supposed to pull everything up. I was supposed to pull one up and then start researching it and then see what I could find. I think there may well have been a couple of peppermints, so... But then again, if I, were, if I couldn't have abandoned peppermints, I wouldn't have been able to get cloudberries, and I've got loads of them now. I've got four cloudberry seeds. Now, let's just check what the conditions are for cloudberries. So, it needs to grow when planted on a cloudy day. Oh, well, this will be why it's a cloudy day today. So, cloudberries are growing. Whereas, um, violets will just grow all the time. Town, woods, plain, and cliffside. Violets only grow in the woods. So we know where to find them and things like that. We just don't know anything about growing them yet. Uh, so peppermint will probably have a day condition. So we'll get that later when it when it does pop up. I really like this though. I like being a bit more involved. It doesn't seem to have any, like, bad growing conditions or anything like that, so we can definitely... I think I might need to chop that tree down. I'm trying not to chop too many down because the violets like being in the woods. Or is... Or do they, do they need to be in the woods as a growing condition, or...? 
No, that's just a foraging location. It just needs to be in the spring and summer. That's the only growing conditions for it. The cloudberries. They'll grow when planted on a cloudy day. How do I know? Oh yeah, there we are. It's a cloudy day. Right. So we need to plant them today or we're not going to be able to plant them at all. These weeds are actually in the way of me dropping the tree down. Come on! Um, because of that tree there I can't see anything so I think that might need to come down as well it's okay I think the violets will still grow as long as it's spring or summer but I need to get these cloudberries planted by the end of the day come on oh no that's a long tool um I need to get the, them planted by the end of the day, otherwise we're going to have a problem. That's why I couldn't do that. And so really before I plant anything, I need to be really checking on like what conditions do we have today? What can I plant based on these conditions? Very cool. I've certainly never been asked to do that in a game before, like... Yeah, you have to plant these seeds on a cloudy day, you have to plant these seeds on a rainy day. Alright, let's go to bed. So, we'll be on the fourth day then. I'm pretty much just waiting for a crop to grow at this point. I probably should have just done ch chickens and chamomile. Well, that's okay. It's a rainy day today, which means I don't need to water anything. Hello. Ah, Sue. Morning, Shilab. I've been seeking out caves around Shimmerbrook in the last couple of days. And guess what? We found our first. There were some critters in there, which might be relevant to your research. We also found a relic that had some writing on it. Valley will look into it when she can. But if you find anything else, let us know. As for the cave, the and I have made it more accessible, so you can enter and exit it safely. Let me just mark it out on your map. It's a stone's throw away from your place, actually. Well, see you around then. I'll probably study the cave more deeply in the next few days as well. Wonderful. Press recorded. Press Q for your quest log. So we're probably going to want to go and um, look for the relic in the cave. Okay, it has been marked on my map, apparently. So M for map. Ah, it's over there. Right, okay. Well, that won't be too hard to go and find, will it? There's a cave right here. Hi, cave. Oh, look, there's some mushrooms in here. A fly agaric. Those look like weeds and rocks, though, so... Problem is, I can't at the moment... Um do much about it. So, uh, is this the relic? Circular dents in the grounds. After sundown, a content cave critter will un unveil what lies deeper. Okay, so what I'm thinking is there'll probably be some kind of mole or something like that that will maybe dig me down a level. So the creatures need to probably help me. That's my thought anyway. But again, can't really do much about that at the moment because... Well, I could come back after sundown and see what creature is around. That's something I could definitely do. So let's see how things are doing. It looks like... 
Research complete. Press R for your research log. And I got two seeds back. So we can grow a lot of chamomile. Let's have a look. R for research. So I can claim my research scroll. Now I have an empty slot. So now we can go and do chickens, I think. There might be things that grow on a rainy day. I haven't seen anything particularly new. I'm thinking peppermint might be a sunny day thing. So what I'm thinking is let's go and see if we can get a feather off a chicken. And research that. So now we are researching chickens. Now I need to tame a chicken and get produce from it. So let's try uh, opening my bag and putting the... I thought there was a... I thought I was given seed. Oh yeah, I was. I was. So we've got three seed bowls there. Let's hold those. And pop it in front of the chicken. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, it numbed it all. I was too slow. Okay, this is why they gave me three, I think. Can I try again? Try again? Little chicken dude. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. You tamed a chicken. Please give it a name. Um, Bella. I don't know, just a random name for the chicken. Um, let's see if I can claim the balls back. No? Alright then, Bella, let's go and see our friend. And uh, find out how to, how to raise you and get you to give me an egg. Many, many chamomiles here. So I'll be able to have, like, so many chamomiles. Wouldn't even be funny. Get more seeds from the ones you raise yourself, though, by the looks of it. Hey, she lab, what are you looking for today? No, no, no. Thank you and come again. I need to know about this chicken. Hello, she lab. So you've tamed a chicken. Now, to keep your creature happy, you'll need to give it a home and keep it fed. Assign creatures to pens and add their favourite type of feed to the trough. Oh, and remember to pat them daily. Happy creatures will often give back to their caretakers and produce useful items. This final bit of information should also be recorded down to complete a piece of creature research. Please report back to Valley when you've completed the research. She'll be glad to hear about your progress. Oh, before I forget, here, take this as well. It's on the house. You obtained a creature pen. Wonderful. Do you normally, like, sell creature pens? You do. Okay, cool. How much do they cost? 350 gold, usually. Okay. Good to know. So my next creature, I'll need to have sold a few things first. Come on, then. Are you my chicken? Which one's my chicken? You coming with me? There we are. Right click to make them come with you. Alright then, little chicken. We've got to make you somewhere to live, haven't we? Ah. Ah, you have to live here, do you? Okay. We'll find, we'll chop you down a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of space then, shall we? Make you some space. And then I think if I chop down this tree as well. And then take down these two stones, and we should have plenty of room. Mind out. For your creature pen. Pat 
Apparently not. We need to take down those two as well. Okay. On it. Okay. Let's try it now. Yay, chicken pen. I have placed a creature pen. Click on the pen to start assigning your tame creatures. Uh, you can feed tame creatures by adding feed to the trough. Each trough can hold up to two portions, one for each creature assigned. Creatures will eat their fill by the end of each day. There we are. And put seeds in it. Nice. So, uh, right click to stop. What was it? Assign Bella. Cool. Raise a creature's happiness and collect its produce. So I need to feed it and I need to... Oh no, that's a follow me thing. Darn, I need to reassign you now. Or do I not? Go in your pen. I want to pet you though. Happiness is... is yeah, okay, that's coming up, so... This creature was not fed yesterday, but it will be fed today. And we can change names at any time we want. Nice. Right then, so after sundown... I don't know when sundown is, actually. But apparently after sundown, we'll get to uh, go and check out the creature in the cave. Because I'm dealing with chickens and cloudberries and everything else, uh, might be a bit of an ask. Just trying to make a little bit of space, which at the moment is really hard for me to move around here. Obviously, I don't want to make the whole thing. So what I should have done is done these like in line with this. So what I might do is when I've, I don't know if I can undo a plot or something. Um, it's probably going to be fine for honestly, for the tutorial, for the demo. But if I did play this properly, I probably would start there and go along and then go along here. But obviously the camera needs to be kept away from the water, so. That's a thing. Um, is there anything that I can plant today? Let's have a quick look and see if I've got any seeds. I've got eight chamomile and one wild violet seed. And I believe that the, the cloudberry is the only one with any conditions on you uh, growing it and things like that. So. Let's expand out our field then, shall we? I probably would want to chop this tree down. And probably this tree as well. Change to the hoe. I don't know how much energy I have at the moment. Oh, actually. Um, I'll plant these. We do need to go to the cave and check on the mole, don't we? So I could always plant the, uh, the rest tomorrow. The main thing is that I get the ones for research done. In the cave we go. So let's see. So it was something about... Oh, what creature are you? Start research on this creature before you can observe it. Let's see.
Made purely of moss. Perhaps it's better that way. I don't have any research slots at the moment because I never do. So as soon as I've raised the chicken's happiness and grown a, a violet, we'll have a little bit of... Uh, I'll have a little bit of space to research some other things. I wish I knew how to get rid of the... The bowls I put down for research, like... And a hammer. Nope. <laughs> My taming bowls just stay there. I don't like that at all. Axe, maybe. Maybe I can axe them up. Yeah. And I did have like a... Uh, oh, in my bag. I did have a research scroll. I don't know what I do with that, though. Record this at the Violet Archive. Okay, we'll need to do that. And crafting for a seed bowl. Let's have a look at seed bowl. A wooden bowl. A seed bowl. So I just need three of any kind of seed. Ah, so if the, all these chamomile seeds I'm getting. Like, I'm getting a million of them. So maybe that's all I need to do there. So... Should we sell some stuff today? Let's sell some chamomiles. And maybe the wild violet. And maybe my chicken feather actually, because I've used that for the research now. Shouldn't be too hard to get. There we are, sell those. And I will keep the wood, the saplings, fiber. The mossy malt will stay in my inventory. The rocks. More saplings. Sticks. Fly agaric I'm keeping in case I need it. Uh, that doesn't need to be on my hotbar though, does it? So I can now make another seed bowl to feed my chicken with, which is much, much better than having to buy that. Cool. So I'm glad I started on plants first, because it means I've got spare seeds from everything that I forage, which is wonderful. All right, it's now uh, 00 a.m., so time to go to bed for me, I think. Definitely feel like we're making some good progress, though. It's a sunny day today. So today may well be a good day. I'll go and record uh, my chamomile. But I'm just going to see what can be found first. Whether and it doesn't look like I'm finding any peppermint today either. Peppermint must have just been a really random kind of day. I don't know what kind of weathers you have in this, to be honest. I will grab all the chamomiles because it means that I'll get seeds, and seeds means chicken feed. It means a happy chicken. Let me run around and do that. I could get myself a second chicken if I wanted to at this point. It takes two minutes to find all the forageables, so it's, it's not a big map at all. Sometimes you get a couple of seeds, so that's wonderful. So we still need to tame sprout kittens and foxes. But I think we've done most of the... Ooh, there's some new... Like root vegetable-y things. Garlic. And potato. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find more of those, because if I can't find more of them, that's going to take a bit more time to research, isn't it? Are there any around here, maybe? 
Okay, so there's one more garlic, but I'm not seeing another potato. So I've only got so many research slots, and I think I'm using all of them. <laughs> Alright, let's go to my farm and see if the wild violet is done yet. But honestly, if it is, rather than doing potatoes and garlic, I actually think... Oh, it is done. Nice. How, how about the cloudberries? They're not done, are they? Well, the chamomile's all done. The wild violet, I think, will be tomorrow. But I'll be able to make some seed to feed my chicken with uh, what I get from the chamomile here. So that's rather handy. You get plenty of seeds back. Okay, let's do some watering. Actually, no, let's, uh, before I water, let's feed the chicken and make sure he's happy and uh, she's happy probably and everything. Um, so I need to go in my bag, make myself a seed bowl. So I can do that with a bowl and any seeds I want, probably chamomile seeds. Let's do one, two, three. Hold, fill, fill. So we've got two slots in the trough filled. Uh, let's take that out of my thing. Uh, left click to pat. And right click to toggle sitting. Oh, I see. I patted you. Sit in your. There you go. go. Sit in your pen. Show information. You are greedy. You're a greedy chicken. You have a perk, but we don't know what it is. The bond increases faster if the pen is near five or more grown crops. Ah, okay. So it might be good to like pop in some... I don't know what kind of crop. It'd be a crop, wouldn't it? Like potatoes and things like that. So that might take a bit of doing. I've got to research them first, but that's okay. We can still keep bonding. That's absolutely fine. So tomorrow, we're going to have, um... Oh, Phil. Maybe it already is filled. No, it's not. Oh, well. Um, so tomorrow, I think we'll have the violets. And once they've been researched, then we can go and grab that uh, guy in the cave. liking the idea of like researching it definitely gives it a bit of a different uh, vibe and having all the information on the crops in your journal is kind of cool all right so I fed my chicken what are my crops then I think we want to go to... Oh my goodness. I'm not going to have time, am I? I'm going to water the rest when I come back. Um, <laughs> I want to go to the research centre and hand in my chamomile. Look. So let's have a chat about that then. Ah, you've completed your first scroll. Just in time. I've labelled some of the shelves here to store your research. They're right behind the counter. You can submit your scrolls there to be bound into books. Your research is not just valuable to the archive, but also the community. It keeps folks informed about our relationship with the environment. Keep up the good work. Yay! Recording animals. Recording monsters. Okay. Recording vegetables and fruits. Garlic, potato, cloudberry. Alright, okay. Uh, flowers? Flowers and herbs. 
So chamomile, peppermint, wild violet. So I can put the scroll in for chamomile. And we can do wild violet. We were trying to work on peppermint, but uh, it was a bit of a struggle. So it looks to me like um, it's spring, summer, autumn and winter crops. So you've got flowers and rocks, metals and gemstones from the mine. Geology. Yeah, then animals. Diurnal. Chicken. Fox and raccoon. So these will be in, in the proper early access game as well, I would imagine. But we're getting a really good feel of what the game's like. So rather than adding things to it, you're adding your research. Books on the evolution of research and research methods. Books on cartography, mapping and the like. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. So we're still raising the creature's happiness. That's just going to happen over time, I would imagine, with feeding and petting. And find out what to do with the relic information. So, yeah, we need to wait a day so that we can get wild violets. So I might just go to sleep and do that and then we can start researching that dude. Um, I've only got two more days left. Of the demo though. But maybe, maybe wasted a little bit of time early on. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but I, I can't really go around. Oh yeah, I need to do a bit of watering though, don't I? My watering can is empty. Lovely. So yeah, tomorrow wild violets and we'll we'll start researching whatever that creature is. We'll find out what it is when we start researching it, which will be wonderful. So yeah, definitely bedtime now. A little bit early, but never mind. So here we are, my violets are ready. Research complete on wild violets. I can go and put those in. I'm not gonna worry too much. Research completed on chickens. Perfect. I think you still have some seed, some feed in your trough, though, don't you? By the looks of it, I can give you a little pet. And then let's see the information. Happiness is getting raised. I think you have to live outside, really, isn't it? So I'm going to put those scrolls in as well. And then this evening, we'll go and check on that beastie beast. A shame I didn't manage peppermint though, isn't it? That would have been really cool. Oh, I don't have the scrolls. Why don't I have the scrolls? Maybe I need to look in my... Research in my bag and finish them off. Yeah, there we are. Claim. Claim. So now I've got two empty slots. So we're still working on cloud berries. As soon as they're grown, then they'll be done as well. So violet and chicken. I got a reward. I obtained two egg bowls, which might be good for raccoons or foxes or something. I don't know. You completed a piece of creature work research as well. Let's see your work. Description, traits, this is detailed and well done. Come find me when you've completed a set of books on a particular topic. We should be able to wrap up the basics then. Quest recorded. Press Q for your quest log. Oh, I've done that as well. I see you've completed recording a set of books. Now you've grasped the basics of what we do, you'll be able to access more of the archive's resources, including the job board and exhibition area. What's the job board? Job boards are... This feature's not in the demo. <laughs> What's an exhibition? This is not in the demo. Bye! <laughs> I'm guessing that those will be explained to us in the real game. 
Like I say, it's in early access, so I expect if you pick up the early access uh, version, a lot of that stuff will be in there. I am just, as I say, I like to show demos. I like to show you a taste over the weekend of what things are. If a demo does like amazingly well and it does have an early access release, then I would consider playing that uh, full time. Depends on how much you guys like it, how popular it is, how well it does. Uh, right, so we need to wait until the evening now, which kind of, I don't have much to do right now. <laughs> Have a look around, see if there's any things to forage, I guess. All right, then. I think we could probably start to research because I've got two research slots. Um, so let's ask, start to research firstly the mossy malt. Let's have a look at what that's about. So I'm researching a salamander. I need to observe it one time, then tame it then raise its happiness and obtain produce i might get as far as observing it depending on what it eats i might get as far as taming it let's just go and get from the shop huh, what's going on here greetings squack greetings Ooh, melon good girl Greetings, door, greetings. Hmm? Ah, Sheila, you're here. I was just having Melon and Tilly say some phrases. Aw, they're getting pretty good at it. Tweet, that's adorable. Aren't they? I'm glad you think so too, Sheila. Tweet, tweet. He, good girl. Aw, that's so cute. So, what would a rock salamander want to eat? Seed, veggie, egg, meat, fruit, nut. Thank you and come again. Um, I don't know. Maybe fruit, maybe nuts. I guess I have to just try. I don't have enough money to try all of them though. Well, I can make a seed bowl for it and we can see if it goes for that. So let's buy a fruit one. I'm like, what do salamanders eat? We've got an egg one that I can try. And I'm picking up eggs now, so maybe we could get the the egg bowl recipe. That would be useful, because then I can just make as many egg bowls as I as I want. Maybe bite a veggie bowl and a meat bowl. If it happens to want a nut bowl, then I'm plumb out of luck and I'll have to try again tomorrow. So maybe what I should do is try and... Okay, so the next thing I want to do is get garlic. That seems to be growing today. Ah. Put that into the research. And then we want to... We should observe it one time and then grow it. Okay. Observe! I learned how to forage garlic seeds. So now, we're getting garlics and garlic cloves. As well as chamomile. And all the berries. So as soon as I see another potato, I will be researching that as well. But uh, hopefully my cloud berries will be cleared out by the time I see another potato. I saw one potato so far. Ah, there's another potato. Okay, well, I can't do anything about that right now. I'll try and leave it there. It might be there tomorrow, it might not be. But yeah, this is great. I'm, I'm learning loads and loads of stuff. 
Um, definitely would have been good to have gotten the peppermint earlier on. Oh, right. The peppermint is here now on a rainy day. There's more garlic down there. more chamomile peppermint's a bit of a trickier one to do there's only one there at the moment so I feel like it'd be better to like research all the ones all the things I can research more easily rather than have peppermint like stuck in my research slots all summer all, all spring sorry so Probably would be better that way. Uh, it is now 110. Is there anyone that I haven't met or anything like that? Met Valley, Theo, Su uh, Sue, Rhea, and Lisa, and Kip, and Era. There's one person that I don't know. Let's go see if we can find them. Maybe the general store owner. Unavailable in the demo. Let's see if we can go in the general store. Okay. Mm, well, let's go in the tavern and see if, see if there might, or maybe down here. Let's see. Is that available in the demo? By this one. Ah, hello. Hi, you must be Shelab. I'm Remus, the local blacksmith. Good to meet you. Cool. So we've met Remus. Well, that's our final person to meet. So now we're just kind of waiting a little bit for... Um... Run around a bit. Waiting for the salamander at this point, because I want to research the salamander if I can. Oh, what's on the board now? There are some notices. Um, tavern advertisement. Mugs and Darts is offering a new item, grilled fish, marinated in lemon and garlic. It's a simple but tasty recipe. Be the first to try some. Num, 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 num. That sounds yummy. So today will be actually be the last day that I can make any money. So I'm going to sell all that chamomile I've got. Look. Look how much I've got. So much. And then if I need to go and buy any... Because time will stop apparently. So if I need to buy an, any more bowls to try and tame the salamander, then I can. Um, I'll keep my garlic cloves. Because they will be plantable. Maybe sell my feathers but keep my egg. Because I can, I can make an egg bowl out of that. I just have to go and learn the recipe. There we are. Well, I imagine I can anyway. I haven't actually checked. Uh, so crafting, egg bowl. Uh, two eggs and a bowl. Lovely. But I think I already have an egg bowl. So we'll try a few different bowls and see what it is that the salamander likes. The chicken was obvious. I'm thinking the foxes will like either egg or meat. I don't know about salamanders. I mean, like, let's have a look. What does the salamander eat? Uh, salamander food. They eat, like, worms and stuff. Carnivorous diet. Ah. So if they're carnivores, then maybe a meat one would be the best one to try first. We'll go in there with a meat bowl, I think. Um, so, yeah, it might be in there now, 520. No, a bit too early, maybe. Now it's six o'clock. Let's try six o'clock. Go in there. Yay! Okay. I'm going to put you down a meat bowl. 
think you'll like it? You observed a rock salamander. Records are updated. Ah. Oops. Rats. I did it wrong. I, I had to observe before I could tame. I've used up my only meatball. Typical! Grrr. Right then, let's get that bowl back. And I will come and get you in the morning, I guess. Sad times. <laughs> we'll wait all day tomorrow now. But yeah, um, he definitely ate the meatball though, so that's the thing. He definitely went and ate it, and I was gonna be, I, if I'd have been able to observe him, I would have been able to tame him, so that did show me the right bowl to use at least. Let's go to sleep for the night. 400 gold so we can buy a few meatballs, definitely. Right, let's make some seeds. For you. I'm not going to worry too much about watering my crops because today is the last day. The day won't actually turn over now, so it's no point. I'd probably craft like two bowls of food for my chicken. One bowl left if I want to make an egg bowl for any reason. Uh, pet you. Thank you for the egg. Build the trough. Uh, we, I think, might have cloudberries today. Let's see. Can we? No. So they would have taken another day to make. That's okay. I'm not worried about that. That would have just been another scroll for the museum at that point. There seems to be plenty of time to research everything. Lab, what are you looking for today? I don't know if I need a creature pen for it. I guess it'll follow me around until I, uh, I do or don't have one. 350 gold. I want to get more meatballs though, so... I'm gonna get two. And then hopefully, because it's night time that they come out, see, so I won't be able to tame one unless I, I do that. And I think once we tamed the salamander, that will be that'll be it for me then. Um, can I make a creature pen yet? I don't think I can. I think I had to buy the recipe for that. I'll put a wooden fence up. I can make all some of the bowls. I don't know where I would get the meat for a meat bowl. Do I have any space left now? Uh, or is it all about getting... I need to grow and harvest some garlic. I can't do... I can't physically do that though. Because it takes days to turn and to, to do it. So, yeah, we can't do that and we can't do the cloudberry either. So all I can do is try and tame this rock salamander. Can I turn time? I will tell you what, I will bring you back when it is evening time. And we will quickly tame him. But I, I think that that's going to be as much as we can do. But I'll just, I will show you the proof of concept. Okay, it's six o'clock, so let's go into the mines and see if we can tame one of these salamander guys. This will be the very last thing we do in this demo. Hello! I tamed a rock salamander. Please give it a name. But I decided. 
Let me burp. So I'm going to take him back to my house. But that is how you tame a rock salamander. Finally, for anyone that needs to know. Uh, can you go in here? Okay, Burke can live in here too. Lovely. But it might be better to feed Burt better stuff. Perk unavailable. Bond rate increased. Needs food. Oh, so I think it doesn't really matter what you put in there. So Bert is a happy rock salamander sitting in, in, in there with Bella the chicken. So I think that is going to be where we're going to leave research story. Very, very cute. I love the idea that you want to find out about things before you can have them for your own. And that includes all the plants as well. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more demos, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.